Oh, please. Hey. All right. Give me attention for a quick second. I need you to just listen to this explanation right now. You don't need to write anything down. I just want to show you something. You need to tell me what's true. If I say this, come on, you're going to miss it already. You're going to be behind because you're not listening. Very first thing, that's what I'm trying to teach some of you guys. Stop and listen to what I'm saying. you got lots of time to take care of that other stuff. Right now, this is the important part. If I say A, B equals zero, if I say A, B equals zero, or A times B equals zero, what has to be true? What? One of them has to be zero. Exactly correct. One of them has to be zero. Either A is equal to zero, or B is equal to zero. That should be logical because zero times anything is always what? Yeah. Zero. All right? So today, you have always GCF, factor, <coughs> then you're going to set the factors equal to zero. Now, again, just to make sure, we have another test on Thursday, guys, over just one topic right here. All right? So if you know how to factor, you can get 100 on your test on Thursday. If you don't know how to factor, you'll get the same grade you got the last time. Except it won't be as general. All right? So here we go. Now, I want everybody to look at number one. Everybody, I'm going to walk around the room. I want everybody to factor number one, and I want everybody to factor number three while I walk around the room. I want to see who can factor and who can't. You should be almost done with number one. Factor. Factor. You're factoring. All right, thank you. Perfect. Good. Now do number three. Good. Come on. All right, some of you guys, slow down, man. slow down, good job, good job, good job. All right, here we go. Now, what you should have said on number one, hey, Connor, uh, you got to be with me. All right, you have to be with me every step of the way. All right, I don't want to come back there anymore and ask you. Here we go, two sets of parentheses. 2x and x. 5 goes here, 1 goes here because we did our smiley face and said 5x and 2x makes 7x if they're both what? If they're both positive. So now I need someone to say, hey, I'm not sure about that, if they're not sure. Everybody good? Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Now the only step now, if you know how to factor, is set the factors equal to 0. So now you just write on your paper 2x plus 5 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, and now you have to solve that out. All right? When you solve that out, 2x equals negative 5, x equals negative 5 halves. Over here, x equals negative 1. 
Everybody with me on this? Everybody with me? What's the matter? Good, Joy. Okay, so let me go this like this, Julian. Watch. Sorry. So I subtracted five from both sides. You see it now? And then I divided both sides by two. Agreed? All right, so now we're looking at, oh, by the way, again, this right here is called a quadratic, and the exponent's going to tell you how many solutions there are. So this was to the second power, so there's going to be how many solutions? Two solutions. Now, one more thing. I want, I want everybody to look up just for another quick second before. Stop doing what you're doing. Hey, Avery, I'm talking. Come on, stop. Look, if I were to plug negative 5 halves in here, and I were to plug negative 5 halves in here, what would the answer come out to be? Zero. Thank you. If I were to plug negative 1 in here and negative 1 here, what would it be? Zero. This doesn't mean plug negative 5 halves in and negative 1 in. X can only be one number at a time. Is everybody with me on this? All right, so those are my two solutions. Now scroll down to number 3. Let's factor number 3. Two sets of parentheses. And now, Connor, here's where you're, where you're deciding if you know what we're doing, right? You're factoring. So I'm going to ask you to tell me what your factors are. What are we doing? Go ahead, finish, and then tell me. 2x and x. Good. And where does the 2 go? Where does the 2 have to go? Thank you. And then? 3 is on the left. So now we smiley face. So I want the... Let's look at that and make sure you're correct. Double check that now. Is that correct? No, so it should be what? You see why the 2 has to be positive, right? Because multiplied by 2 creates the 4. Right? So that's a common mistake that I'm trying to make sure that you understand. So your test, you won't make that mistake. You understand me now, right? Now, after you factor, all you do is set the factors what? Oh. Equal to zero. You have to do that part? Yes. 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 I don't know what you're asking. Like, do you have to do the part where it yeah, that's yes. what we're doing. So now, 2x equals 3, and x equals 3 over 2. x equals negative 2. Negative 2 over 1. Doesn't matter, right? Hanson, you're good. Now, I'm, I'm trying to look, seriously, anybody who didn't get a bad grade, I'm having a face-to-face -face contact with your parents. And I'm telling them exactly what you're doing in class. <coughs> exactly what you're doing in class. All right? We're going to fix it. All right? So I'm asking, if you don't see something, now's the time. You raise your hand. Right? You raise your hand. I'm trying to help you. But you're not wanting to help yourself. Hanson, good. Finally. You got... The 2x equals 3 because you... I added 3 to both sides. Yeah. I added 3 to both sides. I'm just skipping that step because I think you guys should... That should be... That was chapter 1, yeah. honestly. Okay? And then x here to 2 is... Divide both divide sides by 2. two. Good. It's exactly right. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. You see it now, right? Yeah. Okay. Did that answer your question? Cole. No, because when you move a negative, it changes to a what? You understand me now, right? What was your question? Good.
Okay, concentrate number five. Everybody's factoring number five. It should take you 30 seconds, maybe. Let's go. Come on. That's what, remember what I talked to you about. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And then you're not doing your work. And then you're upset about your grade because you're up and down too much. Stop being distracted. You were late. Yes, I'll get you some. The people who are on time. People who don't come on time, they're not getting stuff. I'm bribing you to get here early by passing out candy. All right, so those of you guys who are going to come in late, you're not getting any. All right. Here we go. Shh, shh. Hey, Hanson, you are being distracted. You're supposed to do problems, not worried about what goes on back there. All right, here we go. Factoring. I'm listening. 3x plus 1 and x plus 1. Let's double check. 1 and 3 makes 4 if they're both positive. Perfect. So now... Check yourself. Yes, I'm, I want to know. Let's go. Remember, remember, I'm solving the equation. So hear me again. Oh, you subtract both the negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're subtracting one. We're solving for x, moving the one, and dividing by three. What? I don't understand how you got x equals uh, negative one. That's what we just said. Right? Here's what we do. Come on now, kiddo. Watch. You're solving for x. Subtract 1. 3x equals negative 1. And then I divide by 3. Do you understand that? I don't know what kind of means. I have no idea what kind of means. How do you know to, to subtract by 3? Because I'm solving an equation. We're solving an equation. That's it. And honestly, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. It's literally in chapter one. That's what we did. The very first week of school, we solved <coughs> equations. And it's just 3x plus 1 equals 0. You're isolating the x by subtracting 1 and then dividing by 3. Just like over here, I'm subtracting 1 from both sides. All right? Now you're going to get it on the next one. All right? Now the next factoring is a little bit harder for some kids because the y squared is negative. I don't want you rewriting it. All right, I just want you to factor it just the way it stands. All right, so here we go. Two sets of parentheses. All right, so the factors of 10. Five and two. Five and two. Factors of y squared. So here we go. Now we have to do the smiley face. So I have 2y and 5y. I need it to be what? Negative 3y. So the 5 must be what? Negative. negative. Now, does the negative go on the left or does it go on the right? right? It goes on the right. And then a positive here. And don't forget it's equal to 0. Everybody good with that? Now, set your factors equal to 0. 5 plus y equals 0. 2 minus y equals 0. So subtract 5 from both sides. y equals what? Negative 5. Now, does everybody agree this y value is negative, right? So it would be easier if I just threw that to the other side. And I move negative y, it becomes what? Positive y, right? So y equals positive 2. y equals positive 2. Now, again, Connor, are you good with that? Now, you've told me, yes, sir, every day for two weeks. You, you hear me, right? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I, I don't, I don't want to, I can't walk back there every time to check your work. I want you to be brave, man. No one cares. Is that what you got? 
Hanson, right? Julian, 100 on the next test. Seriously, that's what the goal is. 100 on the next test, which is in on Thursday. On one topic, this topic, that's it. Now's the time. You're good. You're good. What? Uh, I, I just rewrote the question. Because uh, you, you didn't hear me. I said, don't rewrite the question. Do it this way. It's the best way. Uh, I'm a little confused how 2 is positive and y is. Come on, look over here. 2 minus y equals 0. I physically pick this up and move it over here. If I move that over there, what does the negative become? There you have it. Y equals 2. Then how can you subtract the y? You can because the y would then be negative. So let's do it your way. Subtract 2. Change the signs. Because you can't have a negative y. Oh, okay. All right, come on. Now you understand why it's easier. All right, number nine. You know what you're doing? That's too long. Is it a short question? A medium-ish question. All right, what? Would, will there ever be like an <clears throat> exponent that's bigger than two? Just scroll down the page. You're welcome. Okay. Medium-ish answer. Medium you good? <clears throat> All right, Connor, tell me how to factor number nine, please. Good. So where does the five go? And where where where's the one go? So wow. Will, did you show him that? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Will. You don't know that? I never said it. Oh, you're so mental. All right. So mental, Here we go. So 3x minus 3x minus 1. That's excellent. Easy. Up and down. Up and down. In the meantime, I'm learning and teaching. Up and down. Up and down. Tissues, why don't you just grab the whole thing, put it on your desk, grab the garbage can, put it right next to your desk, this garbage can right up here, and then stop doing it so I can get you a good grade on Thursday. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Up and down, all period long. It's not helping your cause. Uh, now, set the factors equal to zero. 3x minus 1 equals zero. x minus 5 equals zero. Now, you should be able to tell me by looking at it now that x is equal to 1 third and x is equal to 5. What? Why wouldn't it be um, 3x plus 1? You did? And then you divide by three. Or, I'm sorry. Um, what I got is I got I got x equals five, and then I got three x equals five. And then divide by three. Okay. You're almost there. Then, okay. You're solving for one x, not three x. Julian, same thing, you guys. I, I'm I'm trying to get you a good grade on Thursday. Stop talking. The only thing you should be focused on is this right here. After you've mastered nine, do eleven, and after you do eleven, do thirteen. And every time I say the answer to 11, you should check to see if you're right. Should be no other conversation going on. None. So when I talk to your parents, I can say, yeah, he's working as hard as he possibly can. It's just hard for him. Or I say, just mess around in class. That's why he doesn't know anything. That's what I'm saying. Now, number 11. Everybody put a star by number 11. If you can do number 11, you are an expert at factoring. All right, so I'm going to give you about a minute and a half. And if you get done with number 11, try 13. All right, number 11 is hard. Much easier. All right, so again, we start with saying the middle factors. 
the middle factors would be 6x and 6x. But I immediately knew that was not possible. The reason why I knew that wasn't possible because the factors of 24 are 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. There's nowhere for an even number to go. For example, 4 and 6. There's nowhere for the 4 to go. There's nowhere for the 8 to go. There's nowhere for the 12 to go, and there's nowhere for the 24 to go. Now, if you don't understand that, just raise your hand and say, what are you talking about? There's nowhere for them to go. Anybody have any problems with that? Now, understand, if you don't know, there's nothing I can do for you because you don't want to play the game. I can't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. Right? There's nowhere for any of the even numbers to go. So I know it's not 6 and 6. So now I think about, okay, the next factors of 36 are 9 and 4. Now let me show you. 9x and 4x. Now, is it possible to put 4 and 6 in? Hello, girls. No. There's nowhere to put the even number because they're both even. What about 2 and 12? Nope. So the only, possible here, the only possibility here is what? 3 and 8. So where does the 8 have to go? On the left. And the 3 has to go where? I'm done with the problem because I know that 32 and 27 can make 5 if the 32 is what? Positive and the 27 is what? And the 27 is negative. All right? That's how important this is. All right? That's as hard as the factoring can get. All right? So if you listen to what I said about how you can determine what goes where, it saved yourself a tremendous amount of time. Now we're not done because we now have to say what? 9x plus 8 equals 0. 4x minus 3 equals 0. So x equals negative 8 ninths and x is equal to 3 fourths. And if you can't see that it's negative 8 ninths and 3 fourths, put your hand up in the air and say, give me a little bit of help. It's just like the other one. When you move something, what do you do? Come on, now listen to me. I'm not mad. But what I'm trying to tell you is, if, if I thought the answer was 8 ninths and you wrote negative 8 ninths, I would say, well, what did he do to make it negative? And I just did what? Move the number. Come on, that's where I'm trying to take you, to where you can answer your own questions. All right? It's the same process every time, Julia. All right. Now, number 13. There's a GCF. What's the GCF? The GCF is what? Oh, no, no, that's squared. X minus 3. Thank you very much. And what's left behind? X plus 5. X plus 5. <clears throat> Beautiful. So then you write down X minus 3 equals 0. X plus 5 equals 0. So X equals 3 or X equals... Come on, if you can factor, this is easy. If you can factor, this is easy. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look. Uh-oh, 15. Factoring by what? Factoring by grouping. So here we go. Come on now. Connor, do you know how to factor by grouping? Okay. Hanson, how are you on factoring by grouping? Okay, so let's let you fix this. What's common in the first set of parentheses? Shh. X squared. What's left behind? Four. X plus one. Right. Now, why is it X plus one? Because we're dividing <coughs> X squared divided by X squared is what? One. Or you can say X squared times X is that X cubed, and X squared times one is that X squared. Now, when the leading coefficient is negative, we have to factor that out. You hear me? So we're factoring out of what? That's right. We're factoring out of negative 4. When I factor out of negative 4, 
It's what? Mm -hmm. X minus one, or, yeah. First of all, when you factor out a negative, what happens oh. to all the signs? They change. They change. They went from negative to positive. And then you're dividing the numbers. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Now you got to practice that. Now, there's a common what? X plus one. Right? So now it's x plus 1 times x squared minus 4. What's the matter? Come on. Uh, so, like, since you, like, did the first one, it just be the same as the Yeah, but, 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 mm, yeah, mm -hmm. not when you get to even higher math. It's not always. Okay? So that's why I, I hesitate to say always. Okay? But for us, it's always going to be that way. That's right. Yeah, I actually That's right. They weren't. They weren't. All right. What? I just didn't teach you that. Now the last last thing is I have to do what? Keep going. Shh, shh, shh. Go. What? X squared minus four equals zero. Nope. Not yet. X squared minus four has to be factored. X All right. So x squared minus four factors to. Oh, x squared. X plus two. And x minus two. All right. Now, notice this was to what power? Three. Third power, which means there's how many solutions? Three. Three. That's how you tell. All right. So now x plus 1 equals 0, x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. So x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to 2. All right, Hanson, how's that? Good. Julian, good? Yep. Connor? All right, let's look at 17, please. All right, now you got to be careful. GCF. What is GCF? X. X. So when you pull out X, you're left with? Beautiful. And now I need to factor again. No. Six and four. So it'd be what type of six? Beautiful. And now x equals 0, x minus 6 equals 0, so x equals 0, 6, and negative 4. Right here, it says x equals 0. There's this factor, this factor, and this factor. All three factors have to be set equal to 0. All three factors have to be set equal to zero. What? What? Oh, You understand me now? One more time now. Pay attention. This is a factor, right? Mm -hmm. This is a factor, right? This is a factor, right? What did I do to those three factors? Very good. I set them equal to zero. So x equals zero. You're asking me how I got x equals zero. Right? You're setting each factor equal to zero. And x equals zero is already solved. In other words, let me show you how I can help you. Look right here. If I plug in zero, zero cubed, zero squared, times zero, Obviously, zero works, mm -hmm. right? What, Connor? Good. Um, for this like particular question, does it matter which has a negative six or the positive? No, no, you're right. Very good. Those are the three answers. Order doesn't matter. All right, here we go. Nineteen. Come on now. What's common in nineteen? Two x. Everybody good? Two x, right? So here we go. Pull down a two x. So, when that happens, I get what? 
three x squared minus two x minus one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then two x, two sets of parentheses, three x and x. Wow. See? And then you set the factors equal to zero. Oh, x equals zero. Oh, wait, zero is a two. X equals zero. So what times two is zero? Brilliant. Or zero divided by two is? No, zero over two is what? Zero. Zero. X equals, what's the other one? No. Negative one third. And then X equals? Beautiful. Those are the three solutions. Did you get one right yet? Um, yeah. No. Yes. No. All right. Everybody look on 21 for a quick second. Put a star there. Listen, you can factor out a 3, but listen, because you're not factoring out a variable, you can divide the 3 out. Look up what I'm saying. Divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. So x squared plus 4 equals 0. You're awesome. x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Wow. Just take us through. Go. Very good. That's it. So now listen to me. Can I just write x plus 2 equals 0? Do I have to write them both? No, because it's the same answer. So x equals what? Now right next to negative 2, I want you to put a parentheses, and I want you to put this. It's called a double root. The reason it's called a double root is because that answer appears how many times? Twice. And a root is another name for a solution. All right, another name for a solution to the problem. Yes, you can write x plus 2 squared. And also, could, isn't it, if you did use 3, just divide 3, this could be 2, 3 equals 0. And now listen to what you just said, 3 equals 0. Listen to what you just said, 3 equals 0. Does 3 equal 0? No. No, that's why you can't say 3 equals 0. <laughs> Or you can listen to what I said instead of instead of pulling out a 3 to do what? Divide by 3. That way you don't have what? 3 equals 0 when you sound crazy. 3 equals 0. Who says 3 equals 0? Yes. That would be Caroline Bain. 3 equals 0. Okay, now I gotta copy this. <laughs> All right. Hurry up. All right. What's nice about 23? Oh, my God. What's why is it easy? Because it's already It's already factored. It's already factored. That is correct. It is already factored. It's already factored. So because it's already factored, you set the factors equal to zero. So x equals zero, x minus six equals zero. So x is equal to zero or x is equal to what? Six. six. That's it. <clears throat> All right. Why is 25 easy? Because it's already factored. Set the factors equal to zero. All right. Now, your job tonight is to finish with the what? Odds. One, two, three, four, five, about seven questions. Now, listen. My other advice is go back and look for the odds. You hear me? Make sure you understand every single odd problem. And then tomorrow we're going to do the what? Tomorrow we're going to be evens. And then Wednesday we're going to review. And then on Thursday we're going to have another what? Test. Test. And those of you guys, I'm, t I'm serious now. I, I, have, I have a conference every period now with parents. If you tell me, if they tell me you're working, I'm happy. Make sure you're working at home. No, no word problems. The word problems are next week. Oh, All right, the word problems are going to be next week. You can read a couple of them. Look how much fun they look. Yeah. Well, don't, I don't even. Yeah, don't they look. Even they look out. so fun. You're going to love fast. next week's word problems. Please don't word even problems. joke about that. I can't. Hey, is that my guy? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.